All right, guys. So welcome to day two, um, which is Tupperware. So if you haven't already watched um, day one, um, day one was under the kitchen sink. So this is what my under the kitchen sink looks like now. Um, as you should know, if you've been following along so far, it's only day two. So let's do Tupperware. I'll also, um, when I did the under the sink, I've washed down the front of the doors as well as the kick plate. I mean, it still looks kind of bad and grummy, but it's 100% more better than what it was. So this cupboard, I have to admit, it is, I think, the worst cupboard. It's been definitely for sure neglected um, over the year. So let's get to it. it. May fall. Oh my goodness, look at all that. So this is my Tupperware container cupboard. It is very, like, I hate it. Um, there's nowhere else for me to put my Tupperwares. Um, because like I keep all my baking stuff up there. This is like my pantry, which is what I only have for pantry. So I only go like I buy only weekly or bi-weekly. That's like the dishes. That's like Emma's cupboard. That's glasses. And then these are like all drawers. And then that's all like party like stuff or things I don't use very often. So other than this cupboard, I don't really have another place to put them. So, I mean, when it is neat, it does work for us. Um, we don't have a lot of Tupperware. It's just kind of been thrown all in here. So I'm just gonna start pulling everything out and I will give you an after shot when it's all out. All right, thanks, bye. All right guys, so that's it. It's emptied now and see how it's like awkwardly shaped. So it is 10.50 here in Canada and I emptied it out, so this is the damage. Doesn't look so bad when it's all kind of neat. Um, I am a little bit late posting these videos, so if you watched my previous video day one, which I just did not too long ago, um, this was everything that I just kind of condemned it into the one box, but um, that's everything that I got rid of from day one. I'm going to put it on this bag here when I'm done. I'm going to do day one, two, three, and hopefully day four today, as today is October 4th. Um, so, anyhow, uh, this is all my Tupperware. So, I don't know. I mean, this is a hard one in a way because I use, like, these quite often um, if I have, like, a lot of leftovers. Um... I buy, these are lids for it, I buy this butter, like this big huge butter, and it comes in a tub like this, and then I just refill these little butter containers, but like when I don't have money, and sometimes money is really, really tight, I buy the little kind of tiny butters, which are only like a dollar to two dollars, sometimes three dollars, depending on the brand, um, which is why I have so many, like butter containers like that because normally I just have these because this is like about $11 um, and it lasts us like a good like I would say two three months um, for our family um, so I keep these ones I just got rid of a bunch of these ones not too long ago um, for Emma's birthday in May because um, I didn't want to give up my good containers which are these ones so I had a pile up of these ones and I just sent home um, a bunch of food with like my guests and I was like I don't care if you bring back the containers or not because I mean I get them so often um, so I have three currently on hand I did have like 12 of them so that just shows how much I got rid of back in May um, with guests and then I have this big 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 one which again I use for like cupcakes or whatever for um, parties so these ones are definitely keep. These are the containers that I use quite often. I have these little ones. I like these ones because, um, if I can show you, hold on, there's just too many to grab. The lids stay to the bottom container. 
So if you put them away right and properly, which I haven't been doing, well actually Matt usually puts the dishes away and he doesn't, he just throws them all in. So when I get a chance, I just tidy them up after him usually, but um, they don't really, I mean, I had to shake it a good bunch to, to get it off, but they stay. So I like that. So you get like four like tiny ones like this and then three like deeper ones like this and they all connect so it's just hard to grab um my bigger ones you get i think i only have one like this because i think i lent one out and didn't return so you get two like this you get one bigger deeper one which you can see is kind of starting to stain because we've used it quite a bit i mean these are almost like i would say about two almost three years old and then I have some drawing here, and so then you get, I think you get two or three of these, but again, I lent them out to people I thought would bring them back, and they clearly didn't, so I might have to get a few more of those ones. But then you get uh, four of these little tiny ones that we use for, like, dips, um, and again, the lids stay. So when you can, if you have a deeper cupboard, you can kind of, like, I don't know if it's going to work kind of like you know, stack them like that but I don't like to do that because then I have to move all this just to get to the bigger ones if I need it so I try to fit it in as much as I can now these ones I think are containers I borrowed from my in-laws and haven't returned yet since Christmas so I have to look into those but these are the ones the majority that I'm gonna be getting rid of um, I like to keep this we, we had Swish LA like a long time ago um, um, I like to keep these ones a few of these ones because they're good to put in leftovers Like I said if I'm giving away to like guests, especially my in-laws Christmas time like we make a big turkey um, And we don't eat it all so I send a bit of turkey and stuffing potatoes and all that stuff home with my in-laws So I give them into these and then if they get tossed or if they get Broken or whatever it's like bah, whatever it's not my good containers, right? So and then I got three sandwich containers the blue one was mine from when I was little in school and then those two, um, my aunt brought for me from the States. Um, but I'm not too sure what to do with them because this is my kids' cupboard. I'm going to get to this probably later on today. It's a big mess because I have those two um, that Emma uses frequently. Now, I don't like this one really because it's too thick. Um, but it's easier for her to open other than this one. So, but those two are hers. And then these ones I just have kind of, I don't know, if we have a picnic or whatever. Um, they're good to have to pack extra sandwiches, one for each, you know, friend or family member. So usually I pack, you know, Emma's in the her school one and then mine in here. And then, you know, my friend's two sons. Um, so... I don't know if I get rid of, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of these yet. I might hang on to them for a little bit longer. But I'll leave it at that and put it all back in and show you the final product when I'm done. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So this is the after. Um, I don't know which way is better to kind of get it in here. But, uh, yeah. So it looks much better. I am so happy. Um... So that was the after, and this is the purge pile. So I decided to get rid of six of the butter containers. So, day one, day two, we're doing pretty good so far. On to day three, which is, I do believe, bakeware and dishes. So that's a bigger one because I got dishes in this cupboard. Emma's dishes are in this cupboard. Dishes in that cupboard, and most of our bakeware is in here, which is not a lot. This is the heart pan that I was talking about in day one. So, yeah, I mean, again, most of it I've already purged. It's mainly just Emma's cupboard that I'm going to be purging. But I'm going to take everything out, wipe down the cupboards, and um, whatever. So, it's 11.05. Um, that took me about, I would say... 10 minutes or so to figure it out and put it all back in. So we're doing good first time. My phone is dying, so I'm going to take a break for a little bit and charge my phone. And then I will do hopefully day three and four today as of October 4th. Sorry for posting late, but it's just 
been crazy, crazy, crazy. So, all right, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and join me in this challenge if you haven't started already. Um, all right.